I'm Sally Bing, I'm the Chief Executive of the Barnwood Trust. I moved to Barnwood Trust in 2008. I was fairly new to Gloucestershire, I worked in London before then, um, but uh, moved down here because I thought this was a county that had a really strong identity of its own and particularly a really strong community identity. People talk about work-life balance. I think it's just about life balance actually. I don't really label some things as work and some things as not work. I think you do something you feel passionate about and you enjoy doing and for some of it you have the privilege of being paid and other things you, you don't get paid for. Um, but actually it's, it's about finding something that you really care about um, and I suppose I, I really care about trying to make a difference. One of the wonderful things in my job is I see people doing amazing things, not thinking that what they're doing is remarkable. And that's just people in communities, people caring for each other, people having fun, people just making the world a better place, but just thinking they are, it's just what they do. They're not thinking it's remarkable. My name is Yvette, Yvette Farrell. Um, I'm the owner and also the occasional floor sweeper here at Hearts Barn Cookery School. I very much like to pass on skills and to teach people and to see people flourish. And I, I suppose it's the mother in me, I love to feed people. I'm very lucky to be surrounded by a lot of inspirational people, whether they're business people or people who cook, um, people who have different um, genres of cooking, learning all the time. This year we've opened up a new dining venue would like to develop more supper clubs um, because again that's the ethos of cooking and eating and socialisation. Um, we are due to open a community cafe um, up in Colford here in Foster Dean that is going to provide uh, work for people who need access to work. Each year on year we have grown. Um, after the first year we doubled our income and that was during recession. Um, so I would say we're making a 20 to 30 percent income increase each year now um, and with the development of the apple bar next to the cookery school we can increase again by taking that cooking into the next level which is cooking and eating, dining, um, enjoying that aspect of cooking because you've got to eat to watch you cook don't you? My name is Claire Yannick, I'm Managing Director of Corinium Care Limited. I joined originally back in 2003 as a care manager. I managed a small national client base. I think it was just a job that made sense really. It was something that you could see a tangible result from and there was a real need for standards to be raised throughout the whole sector and it just felt something for me that was a light bulb moment the minute I began to work in care. As a business, you need to grow, but you never should lose sight of what is the person-centered aspect. It's the personal touch of everything we do. And that stays with our clients and it stays with our carers as well. Well, we went through very big changes last year when the, the model of the business was completely restructured. My staff had increased over the last year from 16 to now close to 500. They've got to trust you. I think it's not just you trusting them, I think that's got to go both ways. And I think when we have carers and we have staff join us, they can feel that the message through Corinium about our passion for caring and the quality of care comes from right throughout the company, from me to through to everyone and we always feel we all feel the same. And I think it is in making sure people are supported. I'm Sam Morris and I run a business called Sam Morris Cow Art. I'm just approaching my fourth year and um, it came about because I painted my friend's heifer as a surprise for her birthday. When you make something for somebody, um, it's the best present you can give. She knew that and I knew that and that's what I repeat with every customer. My paintings are different styles and there's a, a traditional style and that will attract somebody who's related or associated to agriculture. Then there's the comedy style and that will have a broader audience. You'll see the, the funny cows on greeting cards and wrapping paper and things like that. The realistic cows, they represent 
success for a farmer. I love to help other people, so I've created an artist toolkit which helps artists make business out of their art. Sometimes it's really simple things and sometimes it's more complex and more strategic but whatever it is it's important to that individual so I'll do a lot of Skype consultations with individual artists and we'll also put development plans together. I love, love, love being in business. I love every aspect of it. Um, it's addictive um, it's definitely not a Monday to Friday, 9 to 5, and that's what I love about it.